Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Yeah, I decided to just go over here to save us some time from walking down from the other place I saved in the last part. So, let's once again go to the Egg Corridor. Yeah, question mark. And you've seen this portion already. I already, already got the first missile upgrade back at where uh, Egg 14 was, I think it was. Well, it used to be, I should say, it was pretty cracked up. Wait, not Egg 14, was it Egg 12? I don't know, I'll, I'll notice it when I see the treasure chest. And I gotta say, that's kind of uh, bloody down there with the dragons. Oh, and uh, now that I got the spur from the last part, this is why I wanted to get it, because this is pretty much the only weapon you'll need for the rest of the game. It is that freaking powerful. And you don't have to worry for weapon energy, as I said. Yeah, it was uh, egg number 12. <laughs> so you can just charge it up by holding the button and rape enemies. Oh yeah, baby. Now, whenever you see a large spike fall, not those kinds of spikes, these larger ones up above like that, that size, if one falls on you, it'll be a one-hit kill. The other ones do five damage, so don't worry too much about them. This one's gonna fall, like that, no problem. You can also destroy them um, by just shooting them a bunch of times. Um, here's your next, oh, I thought this was the uh, next missile upgrade, excuse me, this, this isn't it, what am I thinking? So let's go up here, and you'll notice that there's a lot of spikes around here. Wait, I'll just charge up and, Wah, yeah! <laughs> I love the spurs so much, I would like to make babies with it, anyway. Let's just continue on through the egg corridor and kill off the zombie dragons with the greatest of ease flying through the trapeze with my booster. <laughs> that is just so wicked. I mean, it's oh, awesome. Pure awesome. And that is a new type of enemy. If it explodes, it'll do a lot of damage to you. So I recommend staying at a distance. It's got a load of HP, so it's unlikely you'll be able to kill it. Though you could probably kill it if you have the spur. I just wanted to demonstrate it to let it explode and show you what it does. I'm not going to actually take a hit by it, though. Um, let's just kill off. Whoa, zombie dragon doom there. <laughs> Maybe this is a little bit harder than it used to be, despite what I said in the last part. Not that much harder. Look out for that spike there. And go kill him. There we go. Like, remember I said that the they seems kind of violent with it, the bloody. Look at the bloody eyes on those zombie dragons. It's kind of gross, I have to say. Anyway, go into here. This is the egg observation room. You can just exit this room by using that other opening over there. See that other crack in the wall? Um, but if you grab this item. You'll increase your max missile size. So that's another missile upgrade. This is an optional upgrade. And this is the sisters. It's a twin dragon duo, and they pretty much shoot at you when their when their mouth is open. I'm not very good at this boss, I have to say. Because they kinda like, yeah, they kinda close in on you like that, and it's troublesome. What you wanna do is prevent them from shooting at all if possible and something like that like when you shoot them enough times and they take enough damage they stop shooting and that's part of the objective and oh shoot 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 shoot, shoot. and I'm gonna take damage as soon as this fight is over it aren't no the spikes disappear wow wasn't expecting that I thought they stayed there <laughs> Anyway, now that you beat them, you can save your game. Um, I should mention this because someone else is probably going to mention this. Um, it is possible to grab this missile upgrade, then quickly zoom over to here and enter the door like that. And that was an almost cheap shot up there. That would have been very mean. <laughs> In fact, it was very mean to them to do that. Uh, but anyway, so you can get that missile upgrade without fighting the sisters. But it's very unlikely that you'll be able to do it. You have to do it really quickly with the booster, and it's the chances of you doing it is very low. So you might as well just fight the sisters. I would like to, you know, I'd like to show them as an optional boss anyway. So what does it matter? <laughs> I'm pretty much gonna attempt to show everything in this game, regardless. So whoa! <laughs> and all those fireballs also block your shots, in case you didn't notice. Well, partially. Uh, when you got the spur, it doesn't. Oh my God! Doesn't do much good though. Um, I'm going to save my game first before I go any further because I would like to show you one of the endings of the game. Man, I can recover my health. That's pretty nice as well. 
Um, so I'm just gonna go in here. Yeah, I've decided, I've, I've told a bunch of people that I'm not gonna show all the endings of the game. Since there's only three endings, I'm gonna show you what they are. So, go through this door. This is for ending one here. And check this computer. Hatch successful. Who's there? Hey, Kazuma, how's it going? Where's Sue? I thought Sue was gonna meet you. Oh boy. Yeah, Sue got taken by misery. That is not good. And the doctors also got the seeds. That is definitely not good. So, yeah. That, basically, he captured the all the Mamigas and took them to a different place to change into his army of ruthless killers from those red flowers. We've got to do something. Now, this is one of the endings of the game. If you select yes, you'll get this ending. So, go through here, and wait, aren't you gonna let me... Oh, there we go. <laughs> you have to talk to him again, I guess. And this is ending one, the worst ending in the game. Uh, if you don't want this ending, you gotta select no, of course, and then just continue on the outer wall here to go forward. Um, I'm gonna have to finish this another time, but I've made these parts... I mean, made this part a little bit ahead of time, so I'll have time to do this. I need enemy stats on the two enemies that you'll find in this area, the two new enemies. And yeah, before long, the doctor began to hit, began his attack on the Earth using the floating island as a base. Are the countries of the Earth able to withstand the doctor's assault? I don't know. That certainly doesn't sound very good. But... Yeah, it didn't make any difference to me because I escaped the island like a freaking coward! Yeah, that's why it's the worst ending of the game, because we let the doctor go, and we, me and Kazuma lived. Yeah, <laughs> that's a pretty bad ending, I have to say. But, that's not the ending I'm going for. I'm going for... The super secret best ending of the game, so this is not going to do it for me. I'm going to go back to the save place, and I'm going to continue on the game. You know, after I get the enemy stats. Alright, Kazuma, this time I'm going to have to decline your offer for the sake of continuing this game in some sort of time paradox edited together. I would say yee yeah. hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough since this is a completely day that completely different day that I'm recording, but uh since I already said that this part already, that doesn't make sense to say that, so I'll just say welcome back PK Gam or present PK Gam, maybe the other PK Gam was past PK Gam, I don't know. Well let's go through the door and now this is the outer wall. I didn't uh, talk about this already, but I am going to be. Um over here in this area, you actually want to go down here first. This is a super secret special area like that. Just kind of push yourself through there. Yeah, perfection. And go through this door and you'll be at the little house. Yes, it's tiny people. Do you see that? They don't know where her husband, I mean, she doesn't know where her husband is and that evidently was the kid of the family or something, <clears throat> something like that, excuse me. And guess who that father is? No, 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 no! Be right back. Anyway, as I was saying over here, they're referring to that uh, tiny, tiny man way back at the graveyard at uh, Mimiga Village. And this time I'm gonna try to do this without dying. Hopefully, there we go. And this is gonna be. Problematic problem. Okay, ah, the outer wall here isn't hard at all to get through whatsoever, so I don't need to save. Don't worry about it. Just keep climbing up with your booster 2.0. Uh, this would probably be a lot easier with booster 0.8, honestly. Uh, but as I said, I just prefer the booster 0.8. But it's impossible to get through the game without it. And we've got some hoppy enemies here, or hopper enemies, whatever you want to call them. I forgot their official name. And uh, we also got some Night Spirit enemies. Whoa, 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 whoa. And they're shooting real deal sperm here. They look a lot more like sperm than the other sperm from the core. <laughs> 
and that's the only two enemies that you'll find along this area, besides some sand crafts, which you can find, like, right... Right there, in this sand. Surprisingly, there isn't any skull and bones over here to indicate that there might be sand crocs living in there, but man, that's some tight quarters to live in. I feel kind of bad for those poor little sand crocs. <laughs> but I guess since they're trying to eat me, I don't feel that bad about them. Anyway, just keep climbing up until you find a door on the left side. It's coming up shortly, believe me. It's, it's a long way up, but it's not that long with your booster if you're good at using it. I, I'm not good at using it though, but I'm still making some pretty good time, I guess. <laughs> wait, wait. I missed something here. Hold on. And I died on my way back down. Dang it! Now I actually have to go back and revisit the Littles house down there because I didn't save because I didn't think I would die on my way up the outer wall. <sighs> I hate this place! Well, just getting into that house, really. And yeah, you have to do that to activate the an, uh, a required event later on in the game to get a weapon. Yeah. <sighs> was this the thing I was looking for? Yes, it is. Okay, this is the clock room. I, I just completely passed by this way, way too quickly on my first run here because I was just rushing through the area. If you get this item in the clock room, the Mikamaru Kroner, something... I mean, this means that you're doing well up to this point in the game. Let me just say that. But you won't know what this item does until later. It's a completely optional item, though. And it says, this item is a tribute to all your determination. Glory to all zealous challengers. Now, let's go up to that door that I showed you earlier for realsies, you know, without dying. Alright, we're almost there. I'm on the final stretch here. I'm just going to avoid these hoppy enemies. And here we are, finally. Now, I basically just showed you the entire outer wall, except for this area, my first run through. Whoa! And that, you know, hidden area that I would that I failed completely at. Anyway, Savior came here and talked to the scaredy cat guy. Oh, don't kill me, I'm a human. I just got magically turned into an amigo. I'm a human. Huh? What's this? You're not one of those killer robots? Well, you scared the pants off of me jumping out like that. I don't think he's wearing pants, actually. It doesn't look like it. He's wearing a shirt, though. You wouldn't be that Savior, would you? I'm I, Itto, one of the humans who came to this island to do research. That witch misery turned me into this. I managed to get away, but just look at me, and now I'm stuck here. You climbed up from the outside, didn't you? I'm an engineer of considerable talent, but I'm deathly afraid of heights. How did you get up here? Oh, whoa, whoa was me. I, I never should have come to this island in the first place. Yeah, the island's floating in midair. What? In the holy name of poop, what were you thinking? Is that all you say, by the way? Just just curious. Uh, that's it? Okay, and that's a good time to end off this part. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part, when we explore what's beyond this door. Doodling.